Hello, this is Vern. And if you feel like you're constantly having to twist a guy's arm to get him to take the next step in the relationship, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can inspire and activate his deepest level of commitment without nagging, pressuring, or pursuing him. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of Bern Mendez.com. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. Today, I wanna help you understand the difference between pushing yourself and twisting somebody's arm and convince him and cajole him to commit to you versus expanding on your greatness and expressing yourself the way you are at your best and get the guy to willingly volunteer to move things forward. And for that, I'm gonna use an analogy and apologize in advance for using an object-based analogy. In no way am I implying that you're an object. This is simply for you to get into a guy's psychology and understand why men do difficult things to get what they really want. There's two types of car in the marketplace right now. The first one is a type of car like a Kia, nothing against it, but you might have to get the customer a free car washes for life and maybe free old changes and a big cooler and $5,000 off the MSRP to get the person to take the car home. And there's cars like the Ferrari super fast A12 that you need to get on a waiting list. You need to pay a big deposit. You need to wait a year, a year and a half to be able to get it if you can, and then invest $350,000 to take the car home. The difference is vast. One is a car that's desired and pulls people into them. And the other one is a car you have to really cajole and push into people. Which one do you want to be depends on you. And here's the three big differentiators that can help you start getting into this mindset of what makes guys be willing to step into the work of getting what they want, even if it's difficult, even if it's hard, even if it's expensive, but still excited and willing to do it. The first one is a strong emotional connection to that car. There's a feeling of liberation, freedom, excitement, a feeling of aliveness when they come in contact with this car. Number two, there's an element of worth. Why? Because not anyone can get it. Because the fact that he got it means that he worked harder or smarter than other men. So he stands out above other guys as a result of having it. It's more of an ego thing. And the third thing is the uniqueness. There's a unique factor in this car. It's very different. The sound of the engine, the, the shape of its lines, the history of the car company, Ferrari, for crying out loud. So the uniqueness factor combined with a strong emotional connection combined with a high sense of worth makes men be willing to do 20 times more than they would to get a car that you have to push into someone. Before I show you my specific framework of how this works, let me just make a quick invitation to you. If you wanna learn how you can attract your ideal life partner and embody the changes, not just intellectually, but in your heart and soul, what really counts, I invite you to click on the first link on the description of this video where you can see a page that looks like this enter your name and email, and you can start watching a free masterclass that I created for you that can show you how to embody the principles, not just in your mind, but in your daily practices. The first concept I'd like to invite you, I implore you to explore and step into is don't force your greatness into a guy who doesn't get it. There's gonna be guys who are into commitment, even if it's challenging. And there's gonna be guys who no matter what you do, they won't see the point in it. They, they, they feel like they're losing their freedom. They feel like it's not the thing for them. They feel like it's a huge sacrifice and it's not worth it. And a big mistake I see, thousands of conversations I've had with women around the world, is that there's so many women that when they feel the connection, strong connection to a guy that they feel chemistry with, they lower their worth and their standards and they start doing and twisting things in such a way to get what they want. But here's the thing, just like if a guy showed you uh, a huge 50% discount on a car that is on a waiting list, it would make you doubt twice, why are they doing this? There's no need for that. There's something wrong with the car. Same thing happens when a guy sees that you're needy, that you are pushing yourself energetically into his life. Like you want him to do something he doesn't wanna do. It almost forces him and pushes him away from you and makes him be harder to get. So the thing to do, the principle to get here is one of the biggest things, if you learn nothing else from this video but this thing, it would change your life, is 
choose to connect with men who have a strong vision for what they want and are willing to take you there. Second step in this framework is you need to find ways to work on your intensity and fulfillment every single day of your life. And here's why. Because there's something powerful that comes about when you develop more options. When you go out and about and more men, more men are interested in you, if you feel like you have that capacity to attract that which you want, you can still say no if the guy's not good for you. But when you feel more abundance, you're able to set higher standards in your relationship. You're able to say no. You're able to ask better questions. You're able to say, I'm only willing to move forward if this happens. Not from a place of ego, but from a place of worth and fulfillment. So whenever you start doing things big and small every day as a commitment to yourself that make you feel life intensely, that make you shine and radiate without having to try so hard, you become more attractive to men and you become more able to set a high value on your time and your energy in such a way that the guy has two options. He can step up to meet you where you are or he can step down, but he can't drag you along without taking you to the place that you're wanting to get to. Step number three is stop being the best kept secret. Once you've taken the courageous and disciplined step of doing stuff that you enjoy every single day, you need to be willing to be generous and let your body, your face, and your expressiveness through how you do things, let the world know that that excitement is within you. I see lots of women who have great things happening for them, but because they've been hurt in the past, or they become slightly bitter or slightly jaded through the process, and understandably, they tend to not express themselves in such a way that they become their own worst enemies. Why? Because the less you express yourself, the less attractive force you and magnifying force you have, the fewer options you see. So the more you have to hold on to that which you have, which may not be great, in order to keep it, because you feel if I let go of this, then no one else will show up this way. So I'd rather hold on to this guy who's not great, but not bad. Instead of going for what I really want for my what my heart desires, which is a man who can see me, a guy who can understand me, a guy who's hungry to get to know me, a guy who's willing to discover my essence, who's willing to open his heart to let me discover his. That only takes place when you're able to A, be fulfilled and B, as expressive as you can with that fulfillment. So you develop more options and those options translate into you being able to set higher standards for the level of interaction that you have with men. Step number four is go for depth and allow them to pursue. Here's what I mean. When you go for depth, you're willing to ask better questions. When you go for depth, you're willing to have a bigger range of expressiveness. You can go from the very serious and very deep conversation to the very fun, flirty, playful, bantering interaction. When you have this range, when you're willing to go for the heart, when you're willing to listen to him, not just with your head, but with your entire being, and you start discovering the truth of who he is, you're doing something that other women who he is in contact with are not doing. They're typically connecting with them from a place of openness and sexiness, maybe, or a place of seriousness and checking the boxes, but not necessarily having that range. When you have range, you have power. When you have range, you can connect to his heart. When you can connect to his heart, you stand out. It's one of those things where he's willingly moving forward to meet you, willingly taking the next step. And if you catch him not doing that, then you need to pause and have a deep conversation with yourself to find out exactly what it is that's happening here so you can communicate with them in a way that's clear and specific. Number five, don't be exclusive if your visions don't align. And here's what I mean. There's men who want a deep level of commitment that ends in marriage and children. There's men who want deep level of commitment that ends in marriage. There's men who want commitment that doesn't end in marriage, but they ends up with you living with them and sharing a life together. You need to find out first and foremost, what do you want and what is your must? What are your must haves? Because if you're not sure what your must haves are, then you won't be clear from the beginning. And if you're not clear from the beginning, you might connect with someone who has a really good time with you, but is not looking for the same level of depth or for the same definition of commitment. And then what's left is you trying to force your idea of commitment with him when at the beginning, had you asked him that question, he would have clearly said to you, I have no idea what I want, which means you don't have to engage with him or you can give him some time to think about what he wants before he connects with you, but definitely not become exclusive with a guy who isn't clear about what he wants for his life. And don't get me wrong, I'm not asking you to get him to, to share with you if he wants uh, you to have his babies and uh, have a lifelong together with you when he doesn't know you. 
but he should be able to tell you what does he want, regardless of you, with a woman. What is his ideal? If he could have it his ways, if the cards played to his benefit, what would that vision look like? If he's not sure of what that vision is, you're playing Russian roulette, my friend, because you're banking on the hope that he's going to want what you want when he might want something different. Which leads me to number six. Be willing to take back your power if you connect with a man who is unsure, unclear about what he wants, or he wants something different than you're looking for, and you understand at the end that that will not make either of you happy. Because no guy is happy with a woman who's constantly feeling like he's not doing enough, and no woman is happy with a guy who's dragging his feet. So the way you do this is you become exclusive with a man who wants to have a vision similar to yours, and you agree that as you connect through time, you're going to connect and evaluate where things are going. When the guy is unsure about what he wants, you can take a step back and say, well, listen, I am devoting my heart and my energy and my exclusivity to you right now. And it seems like you want something different than I want. So there's two steps here. You can either not be with him anymore or you can become uh, he can become one of the guys who pursue you in addition to other men unexclusively without having sex, without having a deep level of physical connection, not because you're punishing him, but because you want to make sure that you give your heart, your openness and your physical connection to a man who can build something that gets both of you to the destination you're looking for. And if that guy's not willing to do it, then taking back your power means that you do not become exclusive with him. You take that step back and you move forward with creating other connections because other men might, as you are expressing yourself, as you're feeling yourself with self-love, as you're connecting with things that make you feel alive, feel that you are the deepest inspiration in their life and would be willing to take you to the next level. I'll share an analogy to end this that will probably frame this in a different way. It's a financial analogy. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was helping two people at the same time out of friendship to create something different for themselves and their businesses. One person was dragging their feet and not taking action on any of the things I was sharing with them. The other person took one conversation that was strong and profound and at the end of that one year, I saw the person that I have spent a lot more time trying to get them to see things the way they help them and, and not take any action and not make any difference in their life. And the other person with one strong conversation and decided to start a new business and was able to make over $20 million using the ideas that came from that conversation. The moral of the story is simple. If you're sharing your greatness with the right person, things move, move and happen and flow. You're sharing your information and your energy and your time and your aliveness and your love to the wrong person, you step into hours and hours of time wasting and things won't move forward. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. And if it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. On the first link of the description of this video, I've created a free training for you that can help you to embody these changes, not in your mind, but in your actual experience. All you have to do is click on that link and that will take you to a place where you can register for free. If you like this video, click like or thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes. And last but not least, and I'm speaking to you specifically, if you're finding that you're watching videos, you spend the entire year attempting to create this result on your own and you're still not getting it, but you know there's something more for you. You know that with the right guidance and insight specifically applied to you, you could get there and you might benefit of my, my, my specific hand holding, then second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me and we're the right fit, we'll create a conversation uh, and I can share with you how I may be able to help you to get exactly what you want in a fraction of the time. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart, into your home and for courageously stepping up to be the best version of yourself. As always, I challenge you to be cool and comfortable.